Hi everyone, in this uh, video I will explain you how to use the linear transformation function in the Cartesian environment. So first of all, the linear transformation function block behaves in this way. It will have some input variable and it will uh, create the output variable accordingly. And we have four parameters for that, in the minimum value for input, maximum value for input, minimum value for the output and maximum value for the output. So providing some value for the input in this range between minimum and maximum input, we will have some uh, value for the output variable between the minimum and maximum uh, values of the output. So you can see from here that this is a kind of linear transformation. Yeah? Whatever we have in the input will be transformed to some other range in terms of the output variable. You can think of input and output variables as the horizontal degrees in Fahrenheit and degrees in centigrade temperature, or input variable should be some analog input which provides us some voltage between in a given range between four and twelve volts, for example, and the output is some some variable like temperature, pressure, force, and so on and so forth. So this is how the transformation should be done. And if you look. Uh, look the linear transformation up in the online help of the analysis, you will find out this page. So here it's also explained that it transforms the real value, the input value, the variable into the output variable based on the ranges that we have for the input and for the output. So in, in general it has five inputs. The first one is the input variable and the, the next four uh, inputs are in the parameters that we have for this uh, function one. And it has two outputs. The first one is the output variable, and the second one is called error, it's a Boolean variable, and it, it will be turned, it will be off the value or false whenever there is no error, and it will become true when there is an error, and error in this case means that if our minimum value and maximum value for the input are the same, or if the input uh, lies outside of the uh, of the provided range, it's either smaller than minimum input or bigger than maximum input. Uh, at the same time, if you pay attention here, we, you can see that it's part of the utility library. So let let's see how we can uh, have this linear transformation function work in our project. I already have created an empty uh, project. I have selected CFC as a program in language, but you can use function block there on as well, or, or any other language. You just need to know how to use the function uh, function blocks within the programming environment. I have declared some variables, temp f, temperature in Fahrenheit, temp f minimum, temp f maximum. You can see the values here, the initial values, temp c, Minimum temp C maximum temp C temperature in degree centigrade. All of them are real valued, and I have a variable which is called font, and it's Boolean. So this will be the output, the error output of the function graph. Now, to uh, since we know that the linear transformation is a function graph in the CFC environment, I will insert the box, and I need to determine the type of the function graph. It should be linear transformation. Yeah. First of all, if you look here, you will not you will not be able to find it in the within the libraries which are already available. You can also look it up here. Yeah? So it's lean underline transformation, and there's no items. Okay, we cannot find. Why is it like that? Because it's the linear transformation is part of the utility library, which is not by default added to our project. We need to add it manually to our project. How to add the library to our project? You just need to double click on the library manager in the project tree, and then add, click on the add library. The linear transformation function block is located here in the application common and utility. Clicking on OK, you will see here in this window the list of the, the category of the uh, function blocks which are available for us. I think it's 
the linear transformation is located to your mathematical functions, and you can see where you can find it here. So it's you can at the same time find some details about it. So the inputs and outputs for the function block. How does it look like in the function block diagram? I think it is. Uh, and if there is documentation, which we don't have for this uh, function block. So now that this library is added to our system, to our project, we can use it within the project. So now again, clicking. They were trying to determine the the um, type of the function block. We will see the utility appearing here in the list of libraries in it, and within which we have the mathematical functions and the linear transformation. Double clicking on it, pressing enter, we need to determine a name for the function block for the instance of this function block. I will keep the default pressing on enter. We need to declare it using the auto declare, and you can see that the type of the function block or the type of this new variable that you are going to declare is linear transformation. Clicking on OK, you can see that it appears here in the variable declaration area. Now we need to determine or provide the inputs. To the function block and then uh, get out the output from the function block. Since we are within the CFC environment, to provide the inputs, I need to use this uh, input element and we need five of them for this example because our function block has five inputs four and the rest one five. And we have two outputs for the function block, so I need to insert two output. Elements. The first uh, input elements is should be associated with the template because I want to provide temperature in degrees Fahrenheit and, and then get the temperature in degrees centigrade. So in mean will be temp f mean temp f max for the in max. Out mean will be temp C mean and out max will be temp C max. I need to connect this to the function block just by clicking and then dragging. That's all. For the output, the first output will be temp C and the second one will be FAT, which is the Boolean variable. Connecting this to the outputs of the function block. So I would say that we are done now. Since we are in the simulation mode, as you can see here at the bottom, I can do the login. And then run the, the code. So here you can see that we, we have a fault here yeah, because the error output of the function block is turned true. Why is it like that? Because our uh, so minimum value for the temperature is 32, as you can see here, and the maximum is 212. And we have the input equal to 30, which is less than the minimum value for the input. That's why we have uh, a fault or error for this function block. And then the, the output variable is not changed. It has kept the initial value. I can try to change the value to 40, for example, pressing F7 and Alt F7. You can see that we don't have any fault. And the corresponding output temperature in terms of the degrees Celsius is equal to 4.44. If I provide 150 degrees Fahrenheit, we will have 65 degrees centigrade, 212 degrees Fahrenheit will provide us 100 degrees centigrade and if I go further like 300 degrees Fahrenheit the output will not change and again we will have some error which which is the case because the input value is uh, bigger than the output value uh, because the input value for the temp is bigger than the maximum value for the 
for the input or temp f max. That's why we have the error or fault here in this case. Uh, so yeah, okay, I think that's all for, for this video. So I think we have learned how to, first of all, how to use the linear transformation function block. And the second thing that we have learned is to how to uh, add some libraries to our project. So here we have added the utility libraries to our project, which contains a lot of function blocks. None of them are available by default for this system. And you have learned how to, at the same time, how to uh, connect the inputs and connect the outputs in the CFC environment to to a function block in, in general. Okay, so uh, that's all again. Thank you for watching and hope to see you all next time.